Okay, so uh, we now ha we will now go to the uh, second part ng ating uh, thermodynamics. So nakaraan na tapos ako ng 10 problems. I have here 10 problems ulit. Uh, this is a uh, part of your thermo too. So this is problem number one. Uh, magpo-post-post -post naman ako dyan in every three. So let us take a break. Siguro mga one minute, two minute breaks. Enough na yon. So this is problem number 11. How much work is necessary to compress air in an insulated cylinder from uh, 0.2 cubic meter to 0.1 cubic meter? Then your initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and P1 is uh, 100 kPa. Pag sinabing insulated, insulated cylinder, ibig sabihin, no heat addition. Okay? Ang tinatanong mo dito is work. Tingnan nyo, meron bang change in temperature, nag-change in volume, meron kang P1 and V1. I suppose, this process is somewhat, ano, anong process yan? Okay? Kapag sinabing uh, insulated cylinder, that is an adiabatic process. Okay? No heat addition. And if no, that is no heat addition, that is isentropic process. Okay? In your isentropic process, tingnan natin dito. The work in your isentropic process is simply this one. Okay? Insulated. Okay? Insulated. Nagkaroon ka ng volume flow. Ayos ba? Ang, ang working substance mo dyan is air. Okay? In an, in an isentropic process, W in is equal to MR T1 or T2 minus T1 over, ayan yun, nandito yan. 1 minus K, baliktad. May ginegative yung work niyan. 1 minus K. Or you do it the other way, the same lang yan. Okay, the same lang yan. M, R, T, 1 minus T2. Kaya lang, babaliktad, babaliktad rin mo yung K minus 1. Okay, so uh, ganyan yung ating uh, isentropic process. Okay, pag sinabi insulated cylinder, matik yan. That is isol uh, isentropic process. So this is the other formula kapag meron kang T1 and T2. Now, what if wala kang T1 and T2? T1 lang ang present. So you have to resort to this one. Uh, Wn T2 V2 minus P1 V1 over K minus 1. Pero usually, mas malay kasi yung mas malay kasi dito yung P1 kesa sa P2. So dapat ito baliktad. This is 1 minus K. So, we have now the work non-flow na kinukuha dito. And then, meron kang binigay dito na uh, volumes. Since this is isentropic process, again, kung kayo is nag uh, thermodynamics to sa akin and then nag combustion engineering sa akin, meron tayong mnemonics na ginagamit dito in order for you to solve yung mga Initial and final states na missing. So you are given here V1, V2, T1, and then P2. Ang kailangan natin, tignan nyo, uh, air naman yan, wala kang M, meron kang K, that is standard for M, uh, for ano, air. Uh, R is given naman, parate, that is 0 0.287, 0.8, kilojoules per kilogram degree Kelvin. Might as well, ito na lang ang gamitin ko. Okay? Ang hahanapin ko lang naman dito is T2. Okay? Dito kasi, ang hahanapin ko, P1. Pwede rin naman. Okay? Anyway you want it. So, dito tayo. T, yung T equal to P over P raised to K minus 1 over K 
equal to v divided by v raised to k minus 1. Dito, tignan nyo yung uh, notation nyo. If this is 2, this is also 2. And then, if this is 1, this is also 1. Tito, pipito. Okay? Magkabaliktad lang siya dito pagdating ng volumes. So, ang lagi kasing nasa taas, the maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, dito, maximum, and then minimum. This is 1. Maximum yan eh. Hindi pa compressed. Okay? And then 2, that is the compressed volume na. So, dito muna tayo. Tignan natin kung mag-equal silang dalawa. Okay? Solve natin yung T2 muna. T2. So, T2 equal to T2 equal to T1 multiply to P2 over P1 raised to K minus 1 over K. So, ang sinasabi ko dyan, kapag magsosolve ka ng ideal gas processes, kailangan lagi siya naka-absolute form. Absolute value. So, meron kang T1 dyan, 20 plus 273 degree Kelvin. And then, since, since yung pressures mo, okay, tignan na natin dito, ay, wala ka palang pressure. So, might as well, isolve mo na lang siya gamit ito. Palitan natin. Okay? Palitan natin yan. So, volumes, ang given sa'yo dyan, o di V1 divided by V2 raised to K minus 1. Yung K is constant. So, V1. V1 is 0.2 cubic meter divided by 0.1 cubic meter. Ay, 0.01. 0.01 cubic meter. Raised to, uh, ang binigay ko is R, yung K ng air is 1.4. We assume that is standard. Okay. K is standard. K is equal to 1.4 standard air. Kapag hot air, that is 1.3. So, you can now solve for T2. Uh, 20 plus 273, that is 293 degree Kelvin. Simple lang naman na arithmetic yon. You don't have to use your calculators. Ito, kailangan. Uh, I think this will become 20. Hindi ako nagkamali. 0.2 divided by 0 0.01. Ay, hindi, parang 2. 0.2 divided by 0 0.01. Ayun, 20 nga. 20 raised to 0 0.4. Okay, cancel natin yung mga same units. Yan. So, 20 raised to 0.4 times 293. The final temperature will be 971. 0.135 0 degree Kelvin. Now, masosolve na natin yung work. Specific work lang yan. Okay? Kasi wala ka namang given mass. Or, hindi. Hindi pala. Pwede ka makakuha ng mass kasi may P1 ka, V1. Pwede. May mass ka pala. Okay? Hindi pala specific yan. So, you can solve for mass. Okay? M uh, P1 V1 over R, T, 1. So, pressure mo dyan sa 1, meron ka ba? Mm -hmm. T1, V1, T1. Ayun, 100 kPa. 100 kilonewton per meter squared. Tapos, V1 is uh, 0.2 cubic meter. You multiply it with R1, R, that is 0 0.28708 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. You multiply it with T1. T1 is 20 plus 273 dahil kailangan mo dyan is the absolute value degree Kelvin. Now, you cancel all the same units. Itong cubic meter, yung meter, may natira dito isang meter. Kilojoule kasi kilonewton meter ito. Cancel ito, cancel na din yung M. Tapos yung Kelvin and Kelvin, ang matitira will be kilogram. Yaket mo na lang kasi reciprocal yan. 
Now, meron ang 100 multiplied to 0.2 divided by 0.28708 multiplied to 20 plus 273 that is 293. Okay. The mass will be the mass uh, 0.2378 kilograms. Okay. That is the mass. So, you can now get the work. The work. M, R, T2 minus T1. Kaya lang, dapat to baliktad. Okay? Uh, 1 minus K. Hindi natin alam. Ayan. So, M is 0.2378 kilograms. You multiply it with R, 0.28708 mm -hmm. kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Multiply to the temperature. The temperature at one is, a temperature to is 971.135. 0.135. Tama ba? 971. Ayan. And then 293, yung 2. 293. Degree Kelvin divide by 1 minus 1.4. So, solving for work, 0.28708 multiplied to 0.2378 multiplied to 971.135 minus 293. Divided by 0.4, negative 0.4. Para mag, ano, mag positive yung value. Oh, negative pa rin siya. If that is the case, <clears throat> if that is still the case, the work is done by the system. Given off eh. Okay. That is negative 115. Okay, 115.75. Kilojoules. Ba't naging kilojoules, sir? Tignan mo yung unit. Kilogram. Cancel mo ito. Cancel mo ito. Cancel mo ito. Cancel mo si Kelvin. Cancel mo si Kelvin. Kilojoules ang natira. Okay? That is for problem number 11.